Hey everyone, it's Chris from Funtek guys. I'm going to sh uh, show you quickly how to submit a form with um, Ajax and through to a PHP file from there. You can handle the data however you want. Now I'm going to try and do this really quick. I've just finished the, uh, recording the exact same video and that lasted for about 20 minutes and I was like, you know what, I've just rambled on way too much. Let's try and condense this down a little bit. So let's try and keep this to as short as possible. So I'm, I may skip through some sections but I'll read through everything that I've done at the end. So I'm just going to create a simple um, HTML page, so let's just put, um, I don't know, jQuery form as the title, and I'm just going to create a quick form. So, id equals awesome underscore form action underscore sorry, process.php, and I forgot to mention, sorry, my the setup that I've got is um, just an index.php uh, index page and a process.php. They're both empty, or they were empty when I started, and I've just got a local host with my console up here. Um, to get my, to my console, I've just, you can double click and um, inspect, or you can press uh, Command, Alt and, Alt, and I, and that'll bring up your inspector window, uh, on a Mac, sorry. Um, but don't worry about that for the time being. So back to the form. I'm starting to ramble. Inputs type equals uh, text name equals let's put name actually. Why can't I type name? And let's just put a placeholder so we know what to put. Name. It's not going to be pretty, so I'm just going to put a couple of break tags and I'm going to duplicate my line. Uh, to duplicate your, my line, all I've done is I've just clicked anywhere, Command, Shift, and D, and that's just however many times I want. But uh, email, email, let's put a text area in, name equals message, nice and creative. Um, put another break tag in. And we just want to finish with a nice, simple submit button. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And yeah, process the page free, refresh my page, and it, it's as standard as you like. It's just a simple HTML form. It's not going to do anything fancy. If I click submit, it'll go through to process.php, but it's not, as I say, doing anything fancy. So what we, what we want to do now is we want to... Um, start writing some of our jQuery JavaScript um, and I'm going to do that by going to jQuery CDN now CDN um, for those of you that don't know it's just a content delivery network and um, all it does is it allows me to um, load a jQuery externally without having to put it into my folder here so um, rather than me going um, saving it sticking jQuery in and writing script source equals I don't know jQuery min.js script. I can literally just come over here, um, hover over this one, copy the script tag, and paste it in there. And I now have jQuery loaded on this page. Um, I'll put the, the link for this page down in the, the description, but um, let's click on. So now that we have, uh, we've got jQuery on our page, we want to write some of our jQuery code. So I'm just gonna put start by just just saying run the following code once the document is ready. So I'm gonna put uh, document dot ready, um, and that's gonna, take it. that's gonna perform a function once it's ready. So all we're saying is once the page is loaded and once everything is ready, let's perform whatever is in between these brackets. And what we want to perform is a, let's put, um, awesome underscore form. So what we're doing is we're targeting the ID here. So obviously hashtag targets the ID in CSS, it's the exact same here. All we're doing is targeting this ID here. And when we're saying not ready, when we say submit, we want to do something, so function. So again, all we're doing, once the document is ready, we'll perform whatever is in here. Now, what we're saying is once the form has been submit, we want to do something. And what we want to do is we want to, we want to um, prevent the default action 
from uh, the default environment, the, uh, the, sorry, the default behavior of the form um, continuing. So basically, if I click on the submit button, normally what I would expect HTML to do is send me to wherever it's wherever I've specified in the action. So if I click on submit, I'm expecting to go this, to this page. But if I tell jQuery to, to, do, to prevent that default behavior, then I can do something, uh, I can do whatever further down the line. So I can say, right, don't submit the form through, PH, uh, through HTML to, through to this action page. I'm going to submit it down here. So what I need to do is I need to pass in an event. So in on the submit function, pass in the event. And the event, what's going on is the submit. So I submit, that is the event. So I'm going to say E, so for the event, prevent default. And all we're doing there is saying prevent the default behavior. So if I come over to our form here, refresh this, and I submit, we should see up here, it doesn't load. Yeah, it doesn't load. And just to, to prove a concept, I'm just going to console.log. Let's just put submitted and save. So all I'm doing is every, um, once the form has been submit, um, pass in the event, console log the, the word submitted and prevent the default action from being uh, the default behavior from happening. But right now, if I refresh, click submit, I keep on submitting, the page isn't reloaded, we're, we're console logging a message and it's a good one, jobs are good. One. So um, I'm going to comment that out. Come down here. Now we want to obviously send our data through um, with Ajax. So what I'm going to do is dollar dot Ajax. Open and close our, our brackets, and I'm going to say, right, what's the type of data that we're passing? Well, we're going to we're going to send through some post data. So we're not sending a get method. And um, then where are we sending it to? Well, we're going to send it to process.php, which is our page up here. Okay, what data are you sending? Well, I'm going to send all of the data from our awesome form. And this may sound confusing, but really it, it looks worse than what it is. I'm just going to serialize the, um, the data. And all that is saying is basically don't send in everything because, because with jQuery, I'm targeting the form. So that is this whole thing. This is the form, the ID, the action, the method, the input, the type of data that I'm sending. I don't want that. All I want is the, the, a string of values from these inputs. And Serialize does that. And I'll show you what I mean by that a little bit later on. But let's just let's just carry on for now. Just um, don't get too hung up on this. It's it's not that bad. Okay. And a success. What what do you want? Well, I want the data. And from there, I'm going to console.log data. And that is pretty much it. Now, obviously, if we go to process.php and we return whatever's on that page, right now there's nothing on there. So let's just come over to our process.php page and say, hello world, save that, come back, and that's pretty much good. So let's go and test this. So refresh our page. Let's put, I don't know, um, let's put Mike and Danny, oh, Danny at me.com. Don't know what's going on with these weird names. So test, if I click submit, we've got hello world. And that's that's perfect. So what we've done is we've prevented the, the page from loading. We've sent all of the data through, this, uh, through, through Ajax to this page. We've returned what's on the page and then we've console logged it back to the user. So if I just put alert, refresh this page, and click submit, I get hello world. Because we, we've not we've not refreshed or anything up here. All we've done is we've gone, returned the data, and alerted the user about what, what is there. So I'm just gonna um, restore that because I'm not a fan of alerts. So, um, Let's refresh. Let's just put, I don't know, copy and mike at me.com and test. Submit. And we've got the exact same as what we had before. Now, 
I, I just want to show you something because we're not ma we're not manipulating this form anymore because this is doing exactly what we need to do it um, index.php it's passing everything through and it's doing what we need it to do now all we need to do is change what happens on process.php so um, for example if I put hi I'm Chris save that sorry that was, that was quite quick all I've done is I've changed the text and I've put hi I'm Chris I'm going to say, click submit again and it's just gone off we've not refreshed the page the data is still here and it, now it's in the console log hi I'm Chris if I put hi I'm Sean click submit hi I'm Sean very very simple because we're not logging the page it's now going to get no response from another page we can manipulate process.php however we want so to show you that the data is being passed through I'm just gonna far underscore dump dollar underscore post now I can do this because we've sent the data via post through to our process.php and the data that we have sent is everything from the form but I don't need, I don't even need to refresh because even though I've started uh, playing around with PHP I can just literally click submit and it just dumps out everything that post has been sent through and it's as simple as that that is that's all of this um, now for those of you that don't want to know a little bit more about Serialize, you can end the video there and I will catch you next time. For everyone else, I'll just comment this out and I'll just show you what Serialize is. Um, one of the ways that I learn is by just console logging everything with, J with uh, jQuery and JavaScript. So I'm going to do um, dollar um, test, um, test this. So, sorry mumbling my words I'm just going to console log this and what this is doing is it's just going to console log the form right so if I save that come over here refresh my page and console log now it's it's console log the whole form with the ID form so if I click down I click into here on the first drop down you'll see that the action is going through to process.php I've got all of these variables that um, I can access, you know, the ideas awesome form once this in a HTML. So I've got all of the inner HTML. Now, obviously, I don't want to send all of this data through to process.php. I just want to send let's console log this dot serialize. Right? So now refresh this page, come over, click submit. What happened then? And that go through. Hmm, that's weird. Let's prevent default with a little higher up. Save. Refresh. Submit. Have I spelled serialize wrong? Am I being a bit of a muppet? Oh. Yes, I am. I'm missing the uh, the bracket. So there you go. Sorry, that was my mistake. So refresh this page. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this back a little bit now that I've found the error. Um, for those of you that didn't see, then um, all I've done is I've got console.log and the closing bracket is there. And I obviously want to wrap everything in. So all I'm going to do is console log the form and I'm going to console log the exact same thing but I'm going to serialize it this time. So refresh, let's just call this, I don't know, Daniel and um, Jacob and Archie. Click submit. Now the form is the first thing that goes, um, <coughs> pardon me, sorry is the first one that we've console logged and that's just the form as is. The second one that we've console logged is a string of the data and and that's it. All we've done is we've serialized the data so that it's it's now a string. That's that's it's as simple as that and I'm probably just gonna leave it there because I'm I'm just gonna start mumbling and just talking absolute rubbish. So um, thank you very much for watching. If you if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys.